Hey guys, Shadow Seller here and in today's video I will show you all of Dead Air Quill Shot's abilities and give you advice on how to deal with them. Remember to thumbs up the video if you find it useful as well as follow me on Twitch and subscribe here on YouTube. His first ability is Charge. Dead Eye will only do this when there is a player in front of him. I suggest that you roll towards him to evade the damage. If you are standing near his back legs or tail it will not damage you at all. His second ability is Side Swipe. Dead Eye will do a swipe with his arm in a direction towards his back. This ability will hit players which are in front of him as well as to the side of the arm he is swiping with. Be careful since he moves his body while swiping and it also deals damage. I suggest to roll towards his arm when he swipes, to roll away from him but not towards the direction he swipes or to stay near his opposite arm or opposite side. His third ability is Front Swipe. Front Swipe is easy to see and evade, you can roll towards him or to either side. If you are standing behind his arms, near his legs or near his tail, you are safe from the damage and the hit radius of the ability. His fourth ability is Slide. The distance that I travel while sliding is not small. Because of this, the best thing to do is to roll towards him if he's going for you. If you are standing sideways on his body, you can also sprint and roll out of the slide's path. His fifth ability is Tail Slide. The Tail Slide will always slide his body a bit when he does it, so be careful and time your roll properly. His Tail Swipe will do 180 degrees of swipe moving his whole body while doing it. Even if you are standing away from him, do an evasive roll just in case. If you destroy his tail, he will stop doing the Tail Slide ability. His sixth ability is Back Kick. He will only do this ability if you have destroyed his tail. Basically this replaces the Tail Swipe ability. He will do two fast kicks followed by a pause and then a third one. The easiest way to evade is to roll away from his legs and go near his front body. This way you can deal damage while he finishes doing the kicks. His seventh ability is Body Slam. Dead Eye will go on up on his back legs turn towards the target player and slam his body down. Evade the ability or simply roll outside of the hit radius. The radius is bigger around his front and center body, he will not deal damage if you stand behind his legs. His 8th ability is Quill Spin. Quill Shot will fall down to one of his sides and do 3 pump action Quill Shots. The Quills will be shot from his back and neck. When he falls, he will deal damage around him and also each time he shoots he will rotate his body in the direction of his tail. During the rotation he will deal damage with his body and tail to anyone who's standing next to him. The safest spot is in front of his head and also remember to move with the head so that you don't get hit by the body. The other option is to roll in the direction opposite of the one he's turning in order to get out of the radius of all three shots. You will get the hang of it after experiencing it a couple of times. His ninth ability is Quill Ring. This is the easiest ability to deal with since it takes a while for him to do it. You need to roll away or time your roll so that the quills miss you when they land. His tenth ability is Quill Barrage. This is the most annoying of Dead Eye's abilities and the toughest one to deal with when he's enraged and when facing him in heroic mode. Quill uh, Dead Eye will fire a long streak of quills towards the target player while he's not enraged. When he enrages, this will change, but I will mention the changes later in this video during his enrage mode part. When he does the barrage, you can simply outprint it since it will follow your character with a bit of a delay. If you are worried it will hit you, simply roll in a direction different from the one you are running towards and the one you are coming from. Dead Eye is a neutral behemoth, which means he only has an enrage mode. When Dead Eye enters Enrage, he will shoot out a Quill Barrage, so be prepared to evade. During the Enrage, he will become considerably faster in attacking. His Quill Barrage will also last longer, send out more Quills and will switch targets at random. If you are fighting him solo, then you can do the Running in Circle maneuver and evade all the Quills just with sprinting. If you are in a group, always look at the sky to see if any Quills are coming your way. When in a group, usually one or two rolls are enough to keep you safe, but you might get unlucky and have the whole barrage ray down on you. 
If that happens, again, do the running in circle maneuver, but be sure to make the circle big enough so not to get hit by previously fired quills. Heroic Deadeye has the standard modifier plus an extra one. It is called Eater Shrapnel. What this does is give his quills Shell Shock damage. Shell Shock will on impact cause additional damage as well as apply a concussion effect to the slayers. Concussion will slow you down and will make your screen a bit blurry. In order to deal with it, you can use Deadeye gear or cells that put Shell Shock resistance stat in your armor and weapons. Shell Shock resistance will at plus 6 give you immunity to the damage from Shell Shock and its debuff, but it will not stop the damage from the quills. Remember, the quills will always deal their normal damage, while in Heroic they will deal extra Shell Shock damage on top of the normal one. I'd advise having the stat at at least plus 3 in order to be able to evade his attacks safely. The problem with Shell Shock is that if it hits you once, getting away from it afterwards becomes hard. This is everything regarding Deadeye and his abilities. If you enjoyed the video or it helped you in some way, give me a thumbs up. If you think I missed something or want to discuss further this guy, drop me a comment. Share the video as you see fit and lastly, remember to follow me on Twitch and subscribe here on YouTube for more video game and music content.